Hey friends and happy Dapper Day. Today I am at the Magic Kingdom. We're celebrating Dapper Day, so I'm all Dalmatian dappered up. I'm so excited. The People Mover is rumored to open today and it's just gonna be an amazing day. So, let's go do this. So many people dressed in their Dapper Day best and we're gonna have a big meetup in the hub at two o'clock. So, we're gonna head right there. One of the special phrases for Dapper Day this year is, can I take a socially distanced Aussie with you? And I think that's so cool. So hopefully we're gonna be able to take some photos with some very dapper people. Yes. Oh yes, a socially distant Aussie. Please stand here. Oh, look at, look at that outfit. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Happy Dapper Day. Woo. <laughs> This is so awesome. Today is just day one. Tomorrow, they're gonna be doing Epcot, and then uh, I think we're gonna have a meetup at the boardwalk afterwards, and I think it's just so much fun. You gotta look your best, you know? Oh, and take a look at this. The Omnibus is coming down in front of the castle right now. It's nice to see any of the Main Street Transportation Company vehicles out and about, but it's been a while since I've seen that one. Usually, they're uh, coming down on horseback, Oh, I love it. Look at Eeyore. He is my favorite. Are you Look at these She's amazing the buttons right here. Yes. Can you show me yours too? Yeah, you I got, got more got though. More <laughs> <laughs> now it's time we head on over for the big group picture here in the hub. I'm so excited. There is such a big turnout as you've seen before. I'm going to try to give you a look-see. And also I'm with Jackie. Yeah, hey. Super enthused. This is going to be great. <laughs> Dapper Day is one of my favorite days of the year. And it's so funny because a lot of people don't even know that it's happening and they're walking around the parks and they just see all these amazingly dressed people and they're just like, what's going on? And it actually happened to me. That's how I found out about Dapper Day. I was in the parks uh, a while back, like a couple of years ago, and I was like, why does it seem like everyone's dressed so fancy? And then, there you go. <laughs> We're gonna make our way into Tomorrowland to check on the People Mover. It looks like all the cast members are up there congregating. Maybe they're gonna open it up today. They just said that the People Mover is gonna open like this weekend, but today it might happen. It looks like the full cast member team is here and ready for the People Mover to open. I'm excited, fingers crossed. Believe me though, if they say the People Mover is opening up, I'm gonna rush here as soon as possible. Paging Mr. Morrow, Mr. I have Tom to. Morrow. That's, it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it has to happen. It has to happen. And me. if it doesn't happen today, I don't have a reservation for tomorrow. We'll keep trying. Yeah, I'm gonna keep trying. We'll keep trying. You know what I mean? You just gotta keep on trying. We'll keep on trying. But I gotta be here. Paging Mr. Morrow here. needs to be here for the People Mover debut. 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 <laughs> <laughs> One of the things we probably won't be riding anytime soon is Space Mountain. The line is going all the way back to the Tomorrowland Speedway. That has to be at least a 120 minute wait. I mean, I, that is like one of the longest lines I've seen for Space Mountain to date. While we wait to see if the People Mover does open, we are gonna do some other rides. I think Dumbo seems like a dapper kind of day ride. A dump, a Dumbo Dapper Day, a Dumbo Dalmatian Dapper Day. This sounds amazing. We'll have a Dumbo Dalmatian Dapper Day. One of the best things about riding Dumbo is most of the queue is inside, under the big top where there's AC. There's AC under the big top. AC under the big top. Step right up, folks. Step right up, folks. The amazing oh, yeah. Dumbo. <laughs> Gotta get the Dumbo. I'm getting purple! Yeah! I love riding Dumbo. The mixture between the air blowing in your face, the sound of the water, and the circus music. It's too much. It's much too good. There we go! <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> I love it. All the way up! Nothing can stop us. We're all the way up! <laughs> Jackie's behind me. Look! <laughs> I love this! 
look at the amazing scenery you get. There's Cinderella Castle. And then over here, we're gonna see the Barnstormer hopefully bust through the big tent right here. Do you see? Look at Goofy's like shadow or silhouette. So awesome. Oh, there it goes. Oh no, I'm gonna miss it. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh. Step right up, the amazing Dumbo. Oh, we're coming in for a landing. We're going down. We're going down, down, and a lily around. And sugar, we're going down, swinging. Dumbo always gets you in the right moods. I have no idea why. It's just such a classic attraction. It just makes you feel great about being at the Magic Kingdom. So now we're gonna move along, check on the people mover, do another attraction. We do have dinner plans and dessert plans for today. It's gonna be a fun-filled day, like I said. This was like something I've been looking forward to for a while. Now we're gonna make our way up through Cinderella Castle and go take a spin on the carousel. That is definitely a dapper attraction. All of Disney's attractions are dapper, even the Haunted Mansion. In fact, I would even go and say that the Haunted Mansion is dreadfully dapper. Dumbo dapper, Dalmatian yep. dapper, dreadfully dapper. Dapper dapper. I often don't walk through the castle because I usually are making my ways like round the park but it is so beautiful just to go through here. I was gonna ride Prince Charming's carousel but it seems like that's the spot to be for Dapper Day. It's a 35 minute wait. 35 minutes but you're outside so it's very hot. Maybe we'll check back and see if the wait time goes down because I would love to get a Dapper picture on the carousel. So instead of doing the carousel, we are gonna do the dreadful dapper attraction, the Haunted Mansion. I love it. You know this is just a must do. So cool walking through the Haunted Mansion area right here. Ooh boy, it's kind of spooky, but I love it. It's like it's such a cool secret hallway. I love it. Look at the photos right there. That is so frightful. I've never even noticed it before. It's Wolfman. I just heard him howl. That was him howling. It's definitely Wolfman. That's cool. such a great ride on the Haunted Mansion. We got stopped four times. We were in front of Madame Leota just at a standstill, just relaxing and listening to her cast her spells. So much fun. I'm so happy that we did that when we did. Yeah. So thank thankfully there was a long wait for the carousel or we would have missed it. Yeah, great. Now we're gonna head on over to Adventureland and get something to eat because we have lunch reservations at Skipper Canteen. You know you have to stop whenever you see the Mickey Cavalcade coming down, but now it is time for dinner. And we're going to the Jungle Navigation Company Skipper Canteen, world famous Jungle Cruise. 
as we wait for our table to get ready. Look at some of the artwork that's on the walls here. And then over here, the Adventureland Chamber of Commerce Businesswoman of the Year presented to Alberta Falls. There are three different dining rooms inside Skipper Canteen. The mess hall, then they have the jungle room. I'm hoping that we actually go into the jungle room. I haven't eaten in there before, but this is such a cool restaurant. Oh, awesome, we're gonna get the jungle room. Thank you. This makes me so happy. I love these parrot lights. And of course, look at one of the Jungle Cruise boats right here inside. It's the Great Wall of China cabinet. Ah, Great Wall of China cabinet. <laughs> I knew they were going to say that. I know you did. You were ready. <laughs> I decided on getting the Hardy Har Char pork, which, uh, Hardy Har Char uh, pork, and I've never had that before. I've had the steak, I've had the chicken, and uh, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. Jackie's going to get the chicken, though. Yeah, but I'm getting the Hardy Char Char. <laughs> I forgot that they actually sell the spiced excursion ale here, the Congolouche. So I got a Stella and Jackie got a Tusker. Tusker? Tusker Lager. Finest quality lager. Delicious. Okay, ready? Oh! Look at this. Perfect pours every time. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to Dapper Day. Dapper Day. Okay, it's chicken. Okay, it's chicken. Double chicken. You do trust me when I say it's chicken and chicken? Sure, why not? Huh? I can trust oh, you for it. It's for you, buddy. You don't need to trust me at all. I know for a fact that it is for. Ooh, it looks Thank good. you. Oh, wow. That looks like the best. Thank you. The pork looks amazing. Honestly, it looks like the best thing I've eaten here so far. I can't wait to try it. Doesn't that just look so, so good? We're going to have to cut into it here. And I also appreciate the jasmine rice in there. Three big pieces of pork. It also, I feel like, is the largest uh, meal that I've gotten here, too. Usually, the portions can be a little bit tiny, but this is definitely a big, big portion. Look at that. I feel like I'm gonna like this a lot. This is really, really delicious. And also, we got some bok choy here, which I didn't even know that's what it's called until Jackie mentioned something. <laughs> I love bok choy, it's really yeah? good. Do you, you like your chicken? It. Oh, the chicken's so good. What's it taste like? Chicken. Ah. <laughs> I really, really do like the pork here, and I think that's the thing I would order again if I come back. I've already had the steak and I had the chicken, but the pork is my favorite. Of course, a trip to Skipper Canteen isn't complete without a Kungaloosh, and I ordered it as my second drink. Later on, we have somewhere we're going to go to get dessert, and I'm excited to show that. So we're not going to get any dessert here tonight, but where we're going later to get dessert is pretty amazing. The Kungaloosh is a spiced excursion ale, and it's only served here at Skipper Canteen in Animal Kingdom at the Nomad Lounge and also Thirsty Rivers uh, and one other spot in Disney Springs. It's brewed exclusively for Walt Disney World, and it's for the Adventurers Club, and I love it. It's like a Christmas beer. Oh, much too good. <laughs> Much too good for children. Dinner was absolutely amazing. And like I said, wait till dessert later on. I'm excited for that. We're gonna head on over to another attraction and just relax. Today being Dapper Day, it's been all about relaxation and looking our best. So we're gonna try to keep it nice and easy. Since the Jungle Cruise looks like it's only a 20 minute wait, which is the lowest I've seen it, in a long time. I think we're just gonna go for this. It's, it makes sense. We just ate at Jungle Skipper Canteen. Take a look at that, a 20 minute wait. I'm telling you, this is a very, very strange. Board a jungle boat to travel exotic rivers of the world, guided by a witty and experienced skipper. We also just got our uh, meal served to us by a witty, experienced skipper. 
it wasn't even a full 20 minutes. I would say 15 minutes at tops. Even if you just say five minutes, it's a great deal. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, that wasn't 20 minutes, it was 18 minutes. Amazing. Venom samples shipped to Stanleyville Research Station. Uh-oh. <laughs> Those Venom people needed to get out. Looks like we're gonna be boarding Genghis Gertie. Oh yes! Come on in! Come on in! Very convenient. Almost our second round. Yeah! First visit too. Oh! Hey! First visit. Oh, another one here too. Yeah! I think we really lucked out by getting such a low wait time there. I love that ride. I mean, no Trader Sam. It's not really a big deal. The skippers make this ride. The skippers are the best. A quick stop to the Enchanted Tiki Room seems in order. This is such a fun uh, day. We're doing a lot of Adventureland stuff and normally I don't spend a lot of time over here. A lot of people don't know this, but that is the Tiki God of Water. And then over here is the Tiki God of Fire. Isn't that so cool? The little things. There's so many times you can't sleep on the job. Wake up, buddy. Time to stop the show. There it he is. Oh! <laughs> Buenos dias, senorita. My siestas are getting shorter and shorter. Oh, look at all the people. And welcome to Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Tiki 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 Room in the Tiki 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 Room. In the Tiki 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 Room. I love the Enchanted Tiki Room. I go there for two things. I go for the Angry Tiki Gods and then the part where they go, here come the girls. So awesome. But now, I think we're gonna start heading over to our spot where we're gonna have some dessert. And I'm super excited because it is beautiful out right now. If we didn't have somewhere we needed to be, because we do have a reservation where we're going for a dessert, I would sit here and watch this amazing sunset. It's so beautiful out. Magic Kingdom is its just so wonderful. It makes me so happy every time I'm here. Moments like this, I just stop and I stare for a little bit. 
and then you can hear the screams for people plummy thing from Splash Mountain. <laughs> Previously we had lunch at Skipper's Canteen but we were able to get two reservations and uh, I ended up getting a Be Our Guest reservation later on in the evening so I thought it was a perfect day to go there, try the gray stuff, it's delicious, and just have a great time and enjoy the inside of Be Our Guest because that is a beautiful atmosphere and the reservations are very hard to come by. As we're making our way over to be our guest, on a mansion's a five minute wait, which means that's a walk on. In fact, it looks like all the rides are a walk on. This is like insane. Peter Pan, no line. That's insane. What's, what's the wait time? It says 20 minutes, but that is literally no ride. If, if there's nobody in line at this point, then it's, it's almost a walk on. Once we get out of dessert, I think we're gonna be able to ride some more rides. Even maybe Seven Doors Mine Train because look at the wait times. But now it is time to check in. I think you're excited, aren't you? I'm excited. <laughs> years. Years? Yeah. Oh, and we put in a request to dine in the West Wing. West Wing. Yep. Yeah. Don't go to the West Wing. Stay no, out of the West Wing. Straight to the West Wing. <laughs> <laughs> As we make our way in to be our guest, look at the gargoyles on the light post. This is such a beautiful restaurant. I love it. Look at this, guys. It's so beautiful. Wow. It's so beautiful in here, isn't it? We're going to the West Wing now. This is where the Beast and Bell has their first game. Oh! These chandeliers were made in, in France specifically for this festival. That's amazing. We're making our way into the West Wing. Wow. This is amazing, isn't it? Look at the Beast's portrait up there. That's gonna eventually change. And then of course, the Enchanted Rose right over here. Isn't it beautiful? I love it in here so much. Oh no, I think it's gonna change now. Let's keep an eye on the Beast. I love everything in here. It is so awesome. Everything is shred to pieces, and you can definitely tell the beast is just angry. Look at the little carpet up here. Big slash right in it. And oh my lord, is he coming? Oh, there he is! Oh, you shouldn't go to the West Wing. You shouldn't go. <laughs> Now that we are actually seated, I looked over the menu and they changed the way they did things because now it's a prefix meal. It's been a while since I've eaten here. Before we used to be able to come in, get desserts, coffees, wines, and you know, beers and stuff. So now we have to get a three course meal and I'm like, well, don't tempt me with a good time. <laughs> I'm all about that. Maurice, the baguettes. <laughs> Jackie went with the French onion soup and if you like cheese, that's a lot of cheese. <laughs> what are you doing with this? <laughs> Enjoy. Bon appetit. Yeah. <laughs> the steak has arrived. And like I said, don't tempt me with a good time here. She <laughs> said it's going to be the best filet you've ever had. Wow. Yeah. $65, you get an appetizer, an entree, and then, of course, the dessert trio that comes with the gray stuff. So I'm very excited. I mean, it looks really good. Oh look, Beast, he's changing. Oh! It's super, super dark in here, like I said, so I'm not gonna do like a full, full dining review, just enjoy the steak, but, you know, she said, best filet I've ever had, so. It's okay, but 
so far Shula's is my favorite filet. I don't think uh, this is gonna do much compared to Shula's or Le Cellier. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or yeah. Yachtsman. Yeah. I do have to say, the potatoes are amazing. Oh, oh. I love it. Is that the gray stuff? It is. Oh. So the traditional dessert trio is a raspberry buttercream and lemon macaron. You have a chocolate hazelnut and Grand Marnier truffle. And in the center is chips. He's made from white chocolate and filled with the delicious gray stuff. And then a little bit of extra gray stuff in the shape of Mickey. This is amazing. Oh God, what was it? Honestly, I might think this is the best dessert. And I haven't even eaten it yet. Yeah. I've already proclaimed the Lion King dessert my favorite, but just because you get a chip dessert, I love it. You actually eat chip. You eat chip, poor guy. I don't want to do this, but I have to. I'm so sorry, chip. That's the gray stuff. No, yeah, it was like a thinny. So that's your first time eating the gray stuff. Mm -hmm. Is it delicious? Mm. <laughs> I don't know what. You can eat the gray stuff at Gaston's Tavern, but it's a gray stuff cupcake. And I'll tell you right now, this gray stuff is better because it's served in chip and you get all of these other desserts. So like if you're going for the gray stuff experience, be our guest, I would suggest, because I've eaten the gray stuff from Gaston's and this is way better. Oh, honorary guest has returned. Thank you. Now we're gonna head back out. Park is probably closed at this moment, but we're gonna go explore some of the areas inside Be Our Guest. I just love it in here. We're gonna make our way into the hallway here. Look at this. And this is where the beast chair is. So cool. Oh, I'm gonna sit in the beast chair. There it is. That's the beast chair. There it is. Oh, that's the beast chair. This is where you would meet beast normally. Yeah, I didn't even ever get to do that. Yeah, so beast would be sitting here and you come up and sit next to the fireplace. Oh. Yeah, and all these things you used to order your food at a touch God, screen. I do. I'm sorry, did you say something? Coming out for the grand ball. That was so amazing in there. The dessert trio was my favorite by far. I can't believe I made the mistake thinking that you could just get dessert, but it's okay. We had lunch and now we had dinner, and it was it was really really delicious. And now the park is officially closed. So it's all done here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I had such an amazing day. I love Dapper Day. And uh, it's kind of sad the people mover did not open, but maybe tomorrow. Fingers crossed, you never know. So we'll see you next time. Bye.